Hello everyone, my name is Oleg Chernoshenka. In this video I want to show you the basics of the model view presenter pattern. As an example I will use this app I created in a previous video. It contains just a UI view and a button. When I press the button the state of the UI view changes. When I press the button again it changes back. This app is extremely simple but it contains everything I need to illustrate the principle. It has a UI view, it has a state, it has binding between a user uh, action and the state of the application and the user interface. So uh, let's start with code. First of all, what are the differences between the model view controller and the model view presenter patterns? Model view controller is a standard pattern used to, by Apple. You can see one when you build a new product in Xcode. View controller usually contains uh, properties uh, responsible for the state of the screen, uh, other properties responsible for the state of the view, and the logic that handles transition between different states of the view. Model view presenter moves logic behind the view state to the separate entity called presenter that uh, uh, handles all this logic and serves uh, just the final values like a title or color to the view controller. I will add a new class, regular Swift file. I'll call it main view presenter. Inside I will add an empty initializer. I think I will need it later. So go to the view controller and I will add the property. It will be presenter. Main view presenter. Now I want to add it to the initializer of this class. Hmm. Build failed because I need to add required initializer. So init with presenter main view presenter. Self presenter will be presenter that will be passed from parent class. Adding the required initializer and uh, adding uh, super init that I forget before. Now uh, I want to inject this uh, presenter to view controller. I created this view controller in the app delegate. So before it, I will create this presenter as a main uh, view presenter and uh, I will pass it to the new initializer. Instead of the standard view control initializer, I will use the new one. I'm passing the presenter. Now I will go to implement the presenter. First, I will add the new struct uh, model that will hold our uh, liked property. So it's a data layer that should be uh, separated from presenter and from the view. This model will be instantiated in the presenter uh, because I want to have access to my model data only from the presenter. I don't need it in the view controller or in the view layer. After the model, I will add other properties that uh, will be accessible from the view controller. First one will be the one representing the title of like button. I will call it like button title, it's a string. And it returns uh, one of the 
two possible values. If a model liked is true, then uh, I will return dislike label. Otherwise, I will return like string, sorry, string, not label. Uh, next, I will add the property that represents the color of uh, our UI view. Usually, I wouldn't use uh, UI kit here. I would make uh, this class as abstract as possible, uh, probably representing the colors with uh, enum. But uh, for this example, I will use just UI color. So I'm importing UI kit and it will be UI color. So if liked is true, I will return UI color red with alpha component 5. So it will be a half transparent red color. And if uh, liked is false, uh, then I will return just color okay it works so now I will use this presenter in the main view controller class uh, here uh, I want to replace all logic connected with liked state uh, with the presenter logic first I will remove this light here and now we'll see uh, all the problems we have here. So first, uh, we need the way to change the state of light in the model. To do so, I will add uh, some additional method to the presenter. I'll go to presenter and I will add function of like update like. Not the best name, but that's what I came up with at the moment. And uh, it will do the same as our recontrol just at the moment. So it's model liked equal model liked. I will save it and I will call it from here. So presenter. Update like after the state of presenter was updated uh, with call to this function, I can use it to, to update my view. So what I'm going to do is I will replace this uh, code that has first a duplicated code and second has some extra logic that we don't uh, want here, and I will replace this with just a call to UI view animation. I will copy this block, do not type it now, and I will delete all our old code. So, here, uh, hard coded title I will replace with uh, presenter uh, like button title, and this color I will replace with self presenter view color. So let's see how it works. I'll run the app. The build is successful. Let's see if it works. So I press like, uh, title has changed, and the color of the view changed as well. So it's like same. So everything works fine. And uh, we moved to all our logic to the presenter and our uh, view controller is as clean as possible. So uh, I want to sum up quickly uh, this video. What I did here is I divided this application into three distinct layers. First is our view controller that contains presenter and main view and connects them. So it passes calls from view to the presenter uh, that updates model 
and then it uses the state of our model to update the view so it has no logic uh, or it doesn't know how to update uh, the state of the button title or the color it all hidden from it so we have really nice separation layer next we have our main view uh, that contains our views and constraints and finally it's the presenter uh, the class that holds uh, the model and that contains all the logic that we need to update the data stored in model before passing it to the view the last small thing i forget to do is to make this model private to protect it from access from other classes outside of the presenter and uh, i want to remove this init i don't need it here now uh, we have an app that is nicely separated into few layers uh, this presenter can easily be uh, tested with unit tests without even touching view controller that's what uh, one of my next uh, videos will be about uh, i want to explain basics of unit tests if you have any questions about this tutorial please ask in the comment section i will be happy to answer and to it will help me to make my new video explaining some parts that I probably missed here. Thank you.